You put your trust in someone else, a company, thinking they're going to treat your child the way you treat your child. I mean, that's what they're hired for, but it was the complete opposite. Betrayal. That is how parents of one-year-old Prince say they feel after they say their son ingested cocaine at daycare. Police say it happened here at the Oak Creek Kinder Care on South Howell. Last week, police raided the daycare and found a baggie of cocaine in the backpack of an employee. Prince's urine also tested positive for the drug. Our Jenna Ray first broke this story for us on Tuesday and she joins us live now again outside kinder care in Oak Creek. And Jenna, is that daycare still open? Susan, we've been out here for most of the day and have seen people coming in and out of the front doors of the daycare. This afternoon, it was an emotional time for Prince's family. As they say, they stood out here and had to relive the trauma that happened inside this facility behind me a few weeks ago. Now, the family is asking for protocol changes and justice. Every day he's coming here, I'm thinking he's safe and it's just a million times worse. I can't imagine how scared he was. A wave of emotions for this working mother of two as she stood outside the very daycare where investigators say her son was exposed to cocaine. My son, he used to be the happiest baby ever. Like, he would laugh at anything. Now he, he doesn't sleep through the night anymore. He's just restless. He's agitated. Like, he doesn't play with his toys. He just... He's doing up all the time. On May 3rd, Kimberly Hobson says she noticed her son, Prince, had bruises on his body. Six days after that, she says she noticed a cut on his eye. On May 14th, she says the daycare called her and said Prince was sick and throwing up. The next day, it was the same story. So she took Prince to Children's Hospital, where court documents show his urine tested positive for cocaine. We are here today because of grave and unconscionable betrayal of trust. A place that should have been a sanctuary for children. The Ivory Lamar is the family's attorney. He says for now, they're not pursuing legal action, but they are calling on kinder care to change its practices. This daycare should be closed down. The day they were raided and found the cocaine was a missed opportunity. The owner of this daycare should have demanded that every parent be contacted that day and all their children should have been sent to some clinic that day to be tested for cocaine. The family's also asking for surveillance cameras to be installed and for the district attorney's office to file charges of neglect against the daycare's employees. I can't believe what happened to my son. How could you do that to an innocent baby? My life is forever changed. I can't trust anyone but my kids ever again. My son is not the same baby. Now, I've previously reported on the near two dozen state violations this specific kinder care has behind me. That's just over the last three years. I did speak with a spokesperson for kinder care who did confirm the employee who was arrested and charged with having the baggie of cocaine has been fired. However, kinder care has yet to respond to any of my requests to answer questions about the several state violations they have. I'll continue asking questions. For now, I'm live in Oak Creek. Jenna Ray, TMJ4 News. It was hard to listen to the mom there, Kimberly. Thanks so much, Jenna.